What's up friends, Miranda here and my sister Sierra. We're back with another video for you guys, another taste test. I know you guys love these whole taste tests that I do with her. So today we are trying out some Dollar Tree snacks, you guys. Some of them are new, some of them are actually ones that have been around for a little while, but I've just been hesitant to pick them up until now. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Right off the bat, I wanna start with these. Yes. I'm going to save the best for last. <clears throat> We're not saving the best for last today. We're saving the best for first. <laughs> that makes no sense. <laughs> but you, you know what I mean. So i seen these on Instagram and I was like, I got to have them, got to try them. So I found them. I actually stocked up and I got like a bunch of boxes of them. I have no idea if they're going to be good. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm kind of afraid that the pumpkin, like I only like pumpkin pie. Like, I don't think I would eat it all the time. But I like anything that's like pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin spice. I'm assuming they'd have like a little like, you know, spice to them. You can smell the spice. Huh? Like you can smell there's like spice to it. Mm -hmm. Like... Not necessarily cinnamon, but like, you know, like nutmeg, whatever. There's a couple different colors in here. Two drops, I'm like, you know. And they're actually white chocolate, you guys. I don't taste a whole lot of pumpkin. You kind of get more of the spice, like pumpkin spice flavor. A I little mean, bit sweet because of the white chocolate, but I like them. Yeah, they're I like nice like. and like kind of creamy. Mm -hmm. Would it have maybe better if they were like the the like the peanut butter filled ones, like if they were like a like a pumpkin kind of cream or something? No, but they're not bad. Nice. They're they're pretty good. I like it. Next up, we have the TGI Fridays mozzarella sticks. Um, huh? I think I've had these. Really? Yeah. People say they smell like feet. Ew. Feet? <laughs> I'm just saying. I think I like feet. Yeah. I can't eat my feet. You smell like feet. Ooh. Smell like feet? Why do I get like a like a jalapeno almost smell? I don't know. I don't know. I never knew what they, they were. They are smell kind like. of like strong scented. You can smell the cheese though, like very cheesy. So yes, they look like this. They don't taste like mozzarella sticks. They taste like cheese, but not mozzarella. Yeah, they taste like cheese, but not like really mozzarella. Kind of addictive, like Cheetos. They're okay. Not the best, but they're okay. But yeah, I like a Cheeto. It definitely does have like that aftertaste of the Cheeto. Like I kind of get that. <laughs> Gosh, sister. All right, so next up we have the Waka chip. I guess that's how people are pronouncing it. I don't know. It's by El Sabroso. Um, I've never had this. I know they've been around for a while, and I actually seen these the other day. I can't remember if it was at Grocery Outlet or walmart but like in a bigger bag um but i've never had them but everybody raves about them so i'm gonna try it she's not she has a thing they smell like a just like a normal like potato chip or something tortilla chip i guess they look like a normal tortilla chip yeah I know some people like these and some people like them. Some people like them. Wow, I can smell your breath from over here. 
They're like very salty at the end. Like, I don't really know if I necessarily taste the avocado, but like I can like taste the saltiness. Like if you have like a salty guacamole or something like that. Like I'm trying to figure out, like it has a bunch of like seasoning and stuff on it. Almost like freaking ranch or something. I don't know. We all know how you feel about salt. How do I feel about salt? What you, you like, know? You don't like you don't like salty stuff. I never said that. You, sometimes you don't even get salt on your fries. Well, because I like them without the salt. Ew. McDonald's fries are super super salty. No, but I mean they're they're pretty good. I don't know if I necessarily purchase them again for me, like personally. But I get like you know what people are raving about. I mean the flavor is pretty good. I just I don't really know if I like taste the whole avocado. I don't know. So next up we have these. These were new. I'd never seen these before. These are the Dandy Pack rice crackers. I think I've had rice crapper. <laughs> <laughs> rice crackers. <laughs> um, um, no, but I know this is. I don't know if this is like a Chinese or a Japanese snack. I don't know. Oh, this is part of Vietnam. I don't know. But, but I remember like having something like this before. They, they have like a weird little like texture. Yeah, they do. I've had Japanese crackers. They're like, I don't know, they're like balls in there. Some of them are like wasabi and stuff like that, and then some of them are not. What's that, what that white one is? I don't know. But they have like a coating on them. They're like, oh, I think it, I don't know what you call them. I don't know, it smells sweet. Oh, well, yeah, they do smell like really sweet. But it also smells savory. Yeah. Like sweet and salty at the same time. Tastes like sesame seeds. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's shredded with like sesame seed oil. With this white one. Rice, soy sauce, sugar, tapioca starch, seaweed. Yeah, that one tasted like the white one color, like seaweed. paprika, chili. I don't know. They're okay. I think like at the end it like loses flavor. Yeah. Like it's really flavorful in the beginning, but at the end, like when you're chewing it, it starts to like, you. so you start to chew it, you get that like um, sesame seed kind of flavor, and then like the whole flavor just kind of like dies off. I don't know. It's weird. All right, I thought these would be fun to try. We all know how Swedish fish taste, but these are the <laughs> the um, Swedish tails. You get two flavors in one. The flavors are watermelon, pineapple, blue raspberry, strawberry, and raspberry mango. So what are they in combination with? Well, sour yeah, there's patch? also there's also the sour patch. I think I got the sour patch one. I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, smells very fruity. Thank you. <laughs> Smell fruity. Okay, I want to try this. These one. are so realistic. I'm no, I'm not used Swedish. to the Swedish fish looking. I've so only realistic. ever had Swedish fish a couple times, so I don't know. Really? This one is a raspberry mango, and she has a blue raspberry strawberry. The flavor, okay. I feel like, is good. It's like I said, it's like very fruity. Good. Yeah, all right. Roti is good. So these have been around for a while. I've never tried them until today. We're trying them. I can't remember um, the if TGI I've tried them, Friday potato skins. I've heard they're really good, and they're the jalapeno cheddar flavor. I don't know if I've tried them. I feel Ooh. like. I feel like they've had jalapeno -y. I feel like they've had potato skins that are different that are just like cheese or like nacho. 
queso. I almost want to say maybe they have like a bacon flavored one. Yeah, like I think bacon it has cheddar or something bacon like that. Bacon cheddar. Yeah. So it looks like this. It smells so jalapeno. -y. Yeah, it does. It smells like small potato. Not even spicy. My tongue, like I can kind of feel like tingliness in my tongue. It's not like super spicy or anything. I almost get like um, like a sweet, like almost like a limey flavor. I don't know. It tastes um, like a hint of lime. All I taste is jalapeno and potato. I don't know about potato. It's jalapeno. Not really the cheddar though. Yeah, no. I honestly, okay. with jalapeno, I thought it was going to be more spicy. Like, I expected, like, spice. That's why I was cautious, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Next up, we have Riggi's Buffalo Wing Flavored Potato Chips by Y. And then it's pretty much just the buffalo flavor, like, ruffles, pretty much. Just tailgate classics. I don't get this. I feel like this isn't a good combination. It smells very acidic. Wow. Yeah, it smells, yeah, it smells like freaking salt and vinegar lays. Yeah. Like, I feel like if you're going to go to a tailgate, people want wings and chips and want it together. No. Tastes like it vinegar. It tastes like buffalo. No, I, I, it buffalo. tastes like vinegar, like more vinegar. There's like maybe a slight little like kick in the back of your throat, but it's more vinegar. Like I don't taste buffalo at all. No, nope, it's vinegar. It's vinegar. Yep. It's a good thing I like vinegar, but but no. it's, it's okay. Birthday cake flavor teddy bears. So these finally, like after a gazillion months, came to Oregon. And they actually hit Washington like at the same time too. So yeah, I'm excited to try these. I was forever on the hunt for them. I think I've had these, but they come in like a blue package. They're well, they had, that's the original, like the like chocolate chip flavored one. And I think they also have chocolate. Well, I thought they. But this they is had a new that. flavor. This is birthday cake. I really thought I've had. These, it just so. smells like regular cookie. Yum yum yum. There's no like birthday cake. Going on here. So it's like, oh, they're like little. Like I don't think it was sprinkle thingies maybe, in them. Maybe it was the Teddies, but I vaguely remember that Goldfish also has a birthday flavored, and it has like sugar on top. But these are just cookie with sprinkles in it. I don't really get like a birthday cake flavor. It just tastes like a regular, like, the way yeah. that, that these ones taste, like this brand of Teddy Grahams. It tastes just kind of like the regular ones. Well, let's see. It says birthday cake cookies. The thing that gets me is cake because it doesn't taste like it. If That's it was just saying, birthday it? Teddy Grahams, then it would be fine because it just has sprinkles on it. supposed to have the cake flavor, though. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not bad, but it's just, it doesn't live up to the flavor it's supposed to be. There's yeah. no cake flavor at all. Yeah. Next up, we have the Snyder's Holy Cheese in the Smoked Gouda. I had the Mild Cheddar, and they also have these at Dollar Tree, and the Mild Cheddar ones are really good. I went to Dollar Tree just, like, yesterday, and these were literally, like, gone. There was like one bag maybe left on the shelf. It says I'm 28% less fat than the leading brand of cheese cracker. Does that mean Cheez-Its? Probably. Yeah. I'm excited for the Gouda. And is it going to look like actual cheese? Is it just going to be cheese crisps? Pretty much. Where okay. you like bacon? Oh, they're puffy. Yeah. No, see, that was like my exact thoughts too. I was totally thinking when I first tried the mild cheddar ones that they were like, my expectation of what they were supposed to look like was different, but they're like puffy, they're like airy. Hmm. 
It tastes like Gouda, smoked Gouda. I'm not a huge fan of like the smoke flavor. I like it. That's good. Yeah, this, this one or even the mild cheddar ones are, are good. Next up, we have these Sherwood Granola Bites, and these are the chocolate flavored ones. We do also have the cinnamon ones that we'll be trying out. It looks like such a small bag, and there's only like that much in it. What the heck? Is that a Dollar Tree? Mm hmm. They're like little bite things. They look like um, the, like those no bake cookies. And like turds. That's nasty. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm probably granola. Pretty much. That's not even a very good chocolate either. Yeah, I'm, I'm like kind of crappy. The granola, I wish they were. It was like more thicker and less small. I don't know. They're very cinnamony. They look weird. <laughs> they don't look weird. Yes, they do. So this they're is like something flat. new I've never seen from Mrs. Freshly's. These are the twirls, and they're actually supposed to be, like, I guess, comparable to Cinnabon. I don't know. Okay. My thoughts on Cinnabon. Um, um, it's expensive. Yes. Also, I don't know if it's that good. Like, honestly, I have my favorite cinnamon roll I've ever had wasn't that cinnamon. I went to a bakery in Seattle and it was so good. I like the Safeway scent. Um, cinnamon. cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon Buns, <laughs> rolls. 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 I don't know. See, when, but like at Dollar Tree, they sell these little like individual pack things. It's like cinnamon bites. Those are good. I mean, you get them for a dollar. They did have them at Grocery Outlet, like four for like two fifty, which is an even better deal. But I haven't seen them there lately. But are yeah, you splitting one or you? No, you can have one. a whole one. A lot of cinnamon though. Yeah, it has. The cinnamon no is expensive. I like their one drink though, like the Oreo drink thing that they have there. But it doesn't have any frosting, which makes me yeah miss. It's not true. It's missing the frosting. Mm. It's like very moist in the middle, but like kind of dry on the outside. It's really soft, which I like. Uh huh. I think, I think it needs the icing though, because the icing gives it like that little extra flavor, like that sweetness. Because it is just a lot of spice, mm. a lot of cinnamon. I think it's sweet, but um, I don't think it is. I, I think like they make up with it because it's moist inside. But if it was like this and it had the frosting, I feel like it would be too much. But, you, you know, you put the frosting on the cinnamon roll because it's it's dry. Mm, I just think it needs the frosting. I think it's good. Alright, next up we got pork rinds, but not just any kind. Salt and vinegar flavor. Never heard of such a thing, never had such a thing. I like pork rinds, but I just don't know how I feel about them being salt and vinegar flavor. Why does it have a Bible verse on the packaging on the back? A Bible verse? Yes. That's so weird. What? <laughs> it does. There's a Bible verse here, you guys. Wait, what is it called? It is John 3.16. No, I meant the snack. It's called It's manufactured Carolina. by Country Snacks Manufacturing in North Carolina. Carolina Country Snacks. Interesting. And then it has a... Why can't I open this? It has a scale at the bottom. It smells funky. Yeah. Hold on, let me look. Like, it doesn't smell like your Crunch typical pork here. brine. Like, it's a little bit, but it just has a weird smell. I think I think it smells a little bit like pork brine, but I think what happened is that when they were cooking it, like, it just doesn't smell like vinegar. Like, the vinegar smell kind of went away. Mm -hmm. Now it smells like pork brine and plastic. Pork brine and plastic. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Mm. Oh, date on me. It's weird because there's like maybe a hint of vinegar, a hint of salt. It's not like overpowering or anything. But it's weird because I feel like it's like stale. Yeah, it doesn't taste as It does good. not as like crunchy. Well, it does say that it's like a low crunch factor, but even still, like it almost tastes stale to me. Yeah, but pork rinds have like that nice, usually they have like that nice flavor for wanting you to eat more. This, yeah, these yeah, might this, be stale. No. If you don't want to get addicted to pork rinds, it's probably the good flavor for you then. I don't know. Yeah, pork rinds are addictive. They are. They really are. Yep. <laughs> All right, so next we have two flavors of this. This was something new I'd never seen, and I haven't seen it at Behal them. It's basically like a sun chip, but these are by Bountiful Harvest. And so I got them in the cheddar and the sea salt flavor. Now, I like sun chips. It's like one of my favorites. Yeah. So let's start with the cheddar. But the thing about sun chips is they Whoa. have so much, like, seasoning on it. Yeah, but I I'm like that. If, I'm wondering if these will amount to it. So what I notice is that they look these a little have, more puffy. They're puffy and they have more air in it. Maybe you think that they might not have as much flavor. It tastes a lot like a sun chip. Yeah, but sun chip is harder. It has like yeah. a nice crunch. No, but like the flavor, like that kind of weedy flavor, it's like totally there. Like almost the same, but it's just the texture is a bit different. And I feel like this has a little bit less seasoning yeah. than a sun chip. It's still, I think it's, it's good It's actually though. really good though. I like this. The cheddar one, like, I give that one a thumbs up. It's like a nice soup for a sun chip. Yeah. All right, let's try the sea salt one. I don't know what I was thinking vinegar. I don't know. I was like trying to smell for vinegar. It just smells it's like just wheat. Salt. <laughs> it just smells like wheat, yes. That one kind of tastes meh. Yeah, really plain. Very plain. I say no to these ones, but the cheddar ones are really good. They're just kind of plain and boring. What time do they watch it? Like, Spongebob? I guess so. I don't know. So another new item. Everybody's been raving about it. Says they're really good, and I love bugles. I love my witch's fingers. <laughs> uh, hot buffalo flavor. It's hot. Hot buffalo flavor. It's yes, it's hot. <clears throat> oh, I'm scared. That one like went right up my nose. Mm. That kind of hurt. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that kind of hurt. <laughs> okay. It smells very acidic. Mm. Mm. It tastes very acidic. Yeah. It is kind of hot. They actually delivered. This is actually like... The jalapeno ones, there's like no comparison. These ones are kind of hot. Don't cry, sister. I'm not going to cry. I don't really know that it tastes like buffalo, though. It doesn't. It tastes like hotness. Yeah, like hot. A bugle. <laughs> Is your tongue on fire? No, it just needs a breather. Yeah, it just kind of tastes hot. I don't really taste like the whole buffalo thing. Yeah. I feel like a lot of things that are like buffalo flavor really don't like live up to the flavor. But there's definitely a kick here. So if you don't like spicy, I wouldn't recommend these. I mean, they're okay, but... Yeah, they're okay. Alright, something to kill the flavor, the spiciness, the Sour Patch Heads. The flavors in here are pink lemonade, blue raspberry, peach orange, and then... Ooh, I want to try pink lemonade. Pineapple red berry. Pineapple red berry. Alright, you lemonade. want the pink lemonade. And I want the... Peach orange. So I think this might have an opposite effect on since we just ate something spicy because it's sour. These are like much bigger than the normal ones, aren't they? Yes. They're These big are like boys. big. 
Like, the other little, like, normal Sour Patch Kids, they're, like, way smaller. I think so. They're, like, half the body. I like that. That peach flavor in this one that I had is, like, spot on. That's a good peach flavor. I want to try the pineapple. I think lemonade is pretty good. You ever hear about those people who love um, sour things that they like wear down? Some like like start making a hole in their mouth, down their tongue, or like side in their mouth. No, really? What the last time I had? The last time I had like um, warheads. And like literally like from how sour they were like burnt your tongue like burnt my tongue or something exactly. like i like lost like flavor for a while like it was like i felt like i had like cuts on my tongue yeah so no more warheads for me but these are good i kind of like these better than the fishtails like i like the flavors in this one better um, that peach is really good yeah all right, our last item, you guys, is the cinnamon flavored granola bites here. So I don't care too much for the chocolate ones, but we'll see how these ones are. And they can nice. They these ones look, look a little weird. bit. They look a little bit weird, but these ones look a little bit mm, better than the chocolate ones. Smells one. good. Oh, it does. I'm like cinnamon toast crunch. Mm-hmm. The smell is kind of better than the taste. They're all right. I like these ones better. Yeah, I think they're better than the, the granola ones. So I think why you don't like the chocolate one is because it doesn't have any dairy in it. Really? There's yeah, no dairy in it? No, there's no dairy in it. Oh. Low sodium, dairy free. Is it vegan? I think you would say, so right? It's gluten free. Yeah, I don't think it's vegan. Mm. They probably put. No, it doesn't look vegan. I don't know. But anywho, that is it for this taste test, you guys. So hopefully, if you guys see some of these things that you like, you know, go check your Dollar Tree, see if you can find them there. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. You don't always find everything. But hey, be on the lookout for these snacks if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching. Join the family if you have not already. And we will see you very, very soon. Bye.